to determine the coefficient of the discharge of the orifice meter and uh, coming on to the theory part pranav please yes so liquid is mostly carried through the pipes and tubes the flow of the liquid flowing through the pipe is to be measured the volume of the liquid entering the pipe and leaving the pipe can be measured and the device used for the rate of the flu flow includes orifice meter and venturi meter now orifice meter an orifice plate is a device used for measuring the <clears throat> volumetric flow rate and the principle of it is it uses the principle as same as a venturi nozzle namely bernoulli principle which states that there is a relationship between the pressure of the fluid and velocity of the fluid when the velocity increases pressure decreases and vice versa and now uh, the uh, and now uh, orifice meter it is a device used to measure the rate at which flow takes place through a pipe it consists of flat circular plate which has sharp edge hole called orifice centric in pipe the orifice diameter is generally kept half of the diameter of the pipe it is based on the same principle as of the venturi meter the value of cd which is known as the ratio of the actual discharge to the theoretical discharge from the orifice is varies from 0.6 to 0.5 this is economical and cheaper than the venturi meter and uses less space for the fitting and now the diagram of the orifice meter there is a inlet flow and out outlet flow uh, at the opposite end and the orifice plate at the center and a uh, vena contracta is a space where diameter is least and fluid density is maximum fluid velocity is maximum yeah firstly we have in bernoulli theorem it states that in the steady ideal flow of an incompressible fluid the total energy at any point in the fluid is always constant that is pressure energy plus kin kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal constant and we have a modified form of bernoulli theorem which is p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z equals constant which is pressure head plus velocity head plus elevation head uh, is is constant then we have coefficient of discharge which is uh, the ratio of actual flow to the theoretical flow through a pipe next slide please now venturi meter it is based on bernoulli's theorem that is the velocity head increases in an accelerated flow by reducing the cross sectional area of flow passage due to which the pressure head is reducing at that section a pressure difference enables to determine the discharge through the pipe next here we have a diagram of venturi meter and here are its main parts first we have is the converging part it is the portion of the venturi where the fluid converges then we have is throat it is the portion that lies in between the converging and diverging part of the venturi the cross section of the throat is much less than the cross section of converging and diverging parts as the fluid enters in the th throat its velocity increases and pressure decreases the uh, diverging part is the portion of venturi where the fluid gets diverges apparatus used in this experiment venturi meter orifice meter manometer manometer is a instrument for measuring the pressure acting on a column of fluid consisting of u shaped tube of a liquid then we'll use tank and stopwatch stopwatch is used to measure the timing next slide here's the diagram we'll use in this experiment procedure now click on the click on the drop down list of water flow to select the water flow click on set flow after selecting the flow click on the experiment or if i meter or venturi meter button the experiment you want to perform click on start button to start the experiment observe the rise in level of fluid in the container and click the stop button when the fluid reaches 50 cc mark observe the flow of water through the experiment and wait for the fluid to reach tank when fluid reaches to the tank click on close valve button to close the valve below the machine tank seven after clicking close valve button wait for the fluid to come up to the 10 cm mark click on stop timer button when fluid reaches around 10 cm mark then we need to click on reset button to reset the setup again 
select the next water flow for, from drop down list and repeat the procedure for all the remaining water flow that is 100% whatever we need to find repeat the same procedure for the experiment and observe the flow of water through that experiment after performing both the experiments calculate the actual and theoretical discharge for both the experiment and write the reading in respective columns of result table calculate the coefficient of discharge that is ratio of actual discharge to the theoretical discharge from the orifice for both the experiment and write them in respective columns click on check button to check the result table and do the calculations find out the results and so on and if some values are wrong then please correct it here we are having supply pipe diameter is equal to 14 mm orifice inlet size is equal to 21.5 mm orifice throat size is equal to 14 mm venturimeter inlet size is equal to 21.5 mm and venturimeter throat size is equal to 12.5 mm the differential manometer tappings are provided at the inlet and throat of the orif orifice meter and venturimeter next slide Measuring tank is equal to three hundred three hundred cube into uh, and the units are millimeter cube. Now we have made an observation table where we have made one column of pressure difference in mercury of the man manometer and time taken. The pressure difference uh, readings are noted down in the respective column and the time taken in the respective column. Same we have done for venturimeter observation table. pressure difference in mercury uh, pressure difference in mercury of the manometer and time taken we have noted noted down here we have used the formula of actual discharge which is equal to volume collected in time and theoretical discharge uh, which is equal to a1 times a2 into under root 2 gh upon uh, under root a1 square minus a2 square and coefficient of discharge is calculated as q actual upon q theoretical so we have made a result table in which we have noted down the respective readings as i told earlier the actual discharge is calculated by the formula volume collected in time t and uh, uh, upon uh, time taken and the theoretical discharge is calculated by formula a1 times a2 into under root 2 gh upon a1 square minus a2 square where a1 and a2 are equal to area of the inlet pipe and area of the throat in meter square and coefficient of discharge is the ratio of the actual discharge upon theoretical discharge same we have done for the venturimeter and noted the respective readings apparatus should be in level condition or keep the we should keep the valve closed while taking reading through pipe a uh, reading must be taken in a steady condition of a water uh, avoid parallax error while not, while noting the uh, manometer reading that is one should place his her eye at the level of the appropriate measurement markings the initial error in the manometer should be subtracted from final reading so that we can avoid some error uh, we should maintain a constant discharge for each reading uh, pranav next slide uh, now source of errors so the error may be caused by improperly zeroing the manometer the error may be due to human error in the recording in recording the data presence of bubbles will affect the readings so the trapped air and bubble can create error in pressure difference so we should take care of that uh, usage usage of stopwatch and wait to measure the mass flow rate may not be accurate due to human error this is because it takes shorter time to fill up at higher rates and hence greater uncertainty with human reaction time and the last is parallax error reading from the apparatus is likely due to the color of the fluid used yes as you all know that my friends already have told you about the orifice experiments and its methods uh, precautions now as we are a chemical in engineer students so we must know about the industrial uses of this experiment which is the most important part which i think so Uh, orifice a uh, plate is called a calibrated orifice it has been calibrated with an appropriate fluid flow and a carryable flow measurement devices it is used to measure the flow rate of fluids in their single states that is gaseous states or we can say a liquid state it can also be used to measure the flow rate of the fluids in a mixed state both gaseous and a liquid state such as wet steam or natural gas a gas with water 
it is used it is utilized in various industries which can be seen in the ppt like uh, water treatment plants natural gas gas industries refineries uh, petrochemical uh, chemical industries also orifice uh, plates are also used to reduce the pressure or resist flow in which in which cases this it is also caused uh, called as a resection plate so that's all thank you friends uh,